Oh, Steve, what'd you just get right there? We fixed our stupid wiring problems. And what we have, uh, did I hear you say we have Axle 2 now? We're we not running yet. Well, now we have the potential to have well, Axel 2. Nice. He now has a lot of work to do to get Axel 2, but he knows what he has to do. We're happy he has to do it. Yeah. You know, we're happy to figure it out. Not happy in the amount of work and to fix the thing to figure it out. So, Is that accurate? Yes. It's just a brutal hour. Eric, Chase. Yes. Michael's here with gifts. Michael's here. Awesome. Oh. What is that? Oh man, they went all out on them logos. Very just beautiful. Let's see. Isn't nice. Cool. And where are we putting those? Headache rack. This is all laser cut, Michael? Yeah, it's all Isn't laser cut. Isn't that cool? Oh, and the little guys? Oh, I like that. That'll make nice little accent trims. Yeah. Flow hydraulic. Though it's polished stainless. Oh, they belong in the truck. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Wow. Wait, what, what are we doing right now? Right here. Uh, get. We're showing Ello in the horn. Here's in. <laughs> Pull the horn. One more. Watch it. Okay, now your turn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's going to free charge through that. Yep. And then once that's done, it's going to swap to the main bar, and then you'll be watching the two fuses. What are you doing here, Ray? Right? Um, essentially looking for temperature spikes, because if uh, if they are like getting really hot, the fuses are the resistor, something's probably wrong and they might explode. So you have a heat gun? Yeah, and yeah, actually this one's really cool. It's, um, it's a thermal imaging camera, so I could see everything within the screen in real time. Uh, so I have like a wide range view of everything that's on the screen, which is good. So I can see if things are getting hot in specific spots versus just a laser gun that has a very narrow range. So this uh, this will be a good guide for us to see if our fuses are properly sized and if everything's working fine. Okay, right now we're going to try out with controlling the axles with the cab control. Tonight might be the night. We've got one axle spinning so far. We're going for two. First, we're just getting power to both axles yeah. at the same time. Then we're gonna climb into the cab, assuming that goes well, yeah. and see if we can drive. Okay, it's gonna spin. <gasps> yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 That one spins. Give it's gonna go spin. a little faster here. Okay, that's the one he's gonna bring up. Oh, 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 it's got no Can you get the other one? Yeah, yeah, but we wanna see the speed rotation. The other right now he's increasing the yeah. speed. Oh, yeah. run them into each other, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Rear watch current, especially. Eric, yeah. watch out in case she falls. Okay, that was a little faster. Separate. Oh, separate. 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 Why is this gonna say a turn? A little bit of rolling. It's gonna go faster now. The brakes are new, right? They're new and it's an OP. Yeah, I got that. I'm just. Would have thought it was just a little up bit. in the air. But yeah, I, mean, uh, I guess it's not quite perfect, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, it's gonna spin. Okay, back the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, both of them going. <laughs> it's actually spinning both. Is this one yeah. locked, Jeff? Because this one's spinning. <sighs> that one must be locked. No, nope. no, nope. it's just nope. the resistance. Yeah, just the resistance. This brake jags a little bit. This is going to be so awesome for doing burnouts, having your tires go in opposite directions. No, we knew this was going to happen. One axle is backwards to the other one. We just got to reprogram it. This is a totally expected thing. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. Yeah, you got to keep these on co pretty. Hey! 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 We're going the right way! Can you match their speeds? Yeah. Yeah, put some resistance on that one. Yeah, it's a differential, right? You got to... Yeah, it's just a differential. So just got to put a little resistance. Yeah, these two are going the same speed. Okay, right now uh, we're testing the axles. We've got to release the brake. Uh, you step on the brake in order to engage it, and then you engage the drive. So we're just testing to see if that programming is right, because if the programming is right, hopefully the axles will turn. A lot of things are going to need to go right for this to happen, but we're working on it. A little slower. Uh, put ramps Whoa. on the ramp. Oh, it's actually working. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, it's working. What? Differential, yeah. Oh, my God, man. I'm driving the truck! <laughs> Your foot is on the pedal. I'm driving the truck! Give us some gas! I've never been so excited to drive a truck in my life! That's pretty fucking awesome, don't you think? Oh, guys. 
This is crazy. What has happened today? Chase literally drove the truck for the very first time using his foot on the accelerator pedal. And it worked really nice. Straight cut gears, a little chunky, but I think it's because you're suspended in air and there's no friction. I think when it's on the floor, resistance will allow that to kind of shift a bit easier. But yeah, he literally drove for the first time. It, this can drive on the trailer to get to the show now and beyond. So what, what, what has happened today? Give us a little quick run through. Um, we ended up going from having massive issues with just one axle to figuring out the software protocol to send signals to um, the motors from a throttle pedal. And then after that, we ended up figuring out a harnessing issue on the second axle. And then after we figured that out, we were able to turn both axles at the same time using the computer system, which is insane because like, until today, we had never seen the back axle turn here. So after both of those were spinning, um, one of them was spinning backwards and it was spinning forwards because they're, um, they're parallel to each other. So they're kind of mirroring each other. So we had to put the front axle technically in reverse all the time. That worked. And then after we did that, we programmed a few little accelerate, accelerometers and uh, throttle matching and whatnot. Uh, torque, torque, uh, torque measurements as well. And then Chase literally for the first time just drove it with his foot on the accelerator pedal. Hey, speaking of driving it by hand, Chase is in the cab right now. He's literally driving it right now. Why do you think that? Just so Stuff like that doesn't happen. When he had it going full tilt there, it was only about two amps. So Obviously there's no load because it's in the air. So what is two amps in relative to for those who don't understand it? It's, it's like not, it's in the air, there's no load, so it's not pulling anything. So it's like a toaster. <laughs> if you had a 600 volt toaster, then yes. We just drove the truck for the first time here now. It worked. I was able to put it into gear, apply the throttle, have the wheels spin, come back to neutral. We're still working on reverse, but we can move forward. And that's a big step. And we are only moving forward. We're only moving forward. <laughs> It's only forward from here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome, Chase. I gave you a little more. Gave you a little more speed that's too. so sick. Yeah, what, yeah what Jeff, you you're right. Yeah. Right now. All right, so right now we're at a very, uh, I'd like to call it a pinnacle. Okay, so Bobo fabbed up tubes and found some rad hoses, making stuff work together that was never designed to be together. Not only is fun but very difficult. So we got a Kenworth W900 radiator out of like a 70 something, one of probably Chase's trucks, hooked to this nine liter with the tubes he got figured out. We've got the block almost filled with coolant. I think you put three or four jugs of concentrate and three jugs of distilled water in it. Two jugs of concentrate up there with another three jugs of distilled water. The capacity on this sucker is something like 80 liters total. The engine is full of oil. We haven't pressurized the oil system yet, but the filter's full. The engine is basically ready to start once we get all the fluids done. The only fluid we have left is the coolant. It has been a mission, but it's very rewarding to get to this stage. I think we're almost ready to fire it. We're going to have something to cover this up, not this little piece of plastic. But the reason why I want to do that is there's only one way to stop a diesel when it runs away. Cut off its air supply. It's the only way. Bobo, Yo, buddy. is there anything else left to do on the engine besides the exhaust turn down and eventually hook up the air elbow, or do you think we're good? Uh, we'll be good there. I think we should just double check all our fittings before we fire it up. Yeah, and check for leaks. Yep. I think we're good. I mean, I don't see a puddle on the floor. That, this cooling fan, leave a comment, let us know if you think we're nuts. I think that this cooling fan running on 24 volts will pull enough air to keep this cool at 1800 RPM. If not, we've got a plan to add more. What I'm doing here is we have a low pressure pump, filling up the fuel water separator and priming pump through the fuel lines because the engine's been sitting open for so long, we want to make sure there's no air in it so it'll fire off right in the beginning. And it's got extremely old diesel in the lines. Okay, right now we're just gonna be getting the uh, cat generator running here. Make this truck a hybrid. A what? Uh, what? It's not a hybrid. <laughs> it's not a hybrid. John not likes to hybrid. say it's a hybrid. 
I don't like to say hybrid. I like to say range extended EV. Uh, it's a big, I say it's a fully electric vehicle with its own onboard level three charger. John likes to say it's a hybrid. Let me know what you actually think of this truck is in the comments. Big Easy likes to say diesel electric, like That's a train. Exactly, diesel electric. That's what I got running, a diesel electric generator. Luke, Big Easy from Junkyard Resurrections is, he's been working on this for the last week. This generator hasn't ran in nine months, so we're gonna see whether uh, money's where his mouth is and this thing fires <laughs> up or not. Do I walk the walk or just talk the talk? Yeah, Let's well, we're gonna find out whether Big Easy's full of shit or not here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Ready to start? Uh, your oil Mark for glass. Clear. <laughs> All right, starting up. Let all the air out. Oh, yeah. just over. Yeah. Everything's oh, fine. It's yeah, it's just overflowing. Yeah, I would have been screaming if it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we finally. Not got a big deal. It had to do that. Yeah, that's why the ride cap wasn't put on. So right now we've run it to 900 RPM. We're just double checking the oil because we had to adjust the dipstick, and uh, we want to make sure the oil level is good. So when they bump it up to the proper engine RPM that we're looking for, 1800 ish, yeah, uh, it doesn't starve the pump and suck it dry. But it went good. The com truck computer was able to fire the generator up, stop it, and the generator ran beautifully. First try. Actually, and the really clear exhaust too. Like yeah. it cleaned up almost immediately. That was, it could not have gone better on that stage. All right, starting her up. Get up to speed, get some natural AC going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, she's a little warm. Go crazy and let's see if this drives. I have no idea if it will or not. Yeah, you might not. I don't know. Yeah, not. Nah, I think we set the torque a little too low. Hey, Edison truck, first test drive. Okay, that's just gonna turn our air compressor on. We got nothing on throttle. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely, yeah. What do you have to set out into? You guys are moving. It's yeah. still being limited. Yeah. Let me go. Let me give you a little more. There you go, there's a little bit more. There you go. You're almost there. Uh, no. Oh man. You're stuck in these little holes. Yeah. You need a little more? I think you need a lot more. Yeah, give me a lot more. <laughs> I'm going to mine over a little bit. Okay, try that. There you go. Yeah, you're moving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy fast, right? <laughs> uno, uno, dos, tre, tres, se, uh, Just hit the button. Just hit the button. Well, we did it. Uh, it's been a long year, but in just 12 months, we went from Carl to our own running and driving. We went from parts from a ripped out Tesla to e axles, proper battery, not an old mechanical generator, a purpose built 
We did it. Yep. We sure did. Yeah, incredible to think. So much of our own tech. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of long nights. And uh, we yeah. went from. It's an incredible. Oh, yeah. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we actually <laughs> did it. Oh, yeah. I knew we would. But the fact that we were actually able to pull it off in a year is. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Down to the wire, right? From just an idea. Uh, like something we posted on like TikTok and some yeah. shorts two years ago now to prove a concept, production prototype, and this. Like, literally seemed like a dream, and look at what's behind us. Oh, Made a reality. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Oh, good job, buddy. Good job. Good. Come here. Come here. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't believe it. Isn't it crazy?